weird it's been a long time since I've spoken to the camera but hello I'm here to do a little bit of a day in the life for you guys I'm gonna make myself some porridge for breakfast this is the same porridge I was making during lockdown back in Auckland as you can see I'm also back in Hamilton so I'll talk about that later on in the video but for now I'm just getting ready because I am heading off to work this morning we're gonna start with some porridge and do half a cup of oats and a cup of water but I don't think there's gonna be enough so yeah I'm heading off to work this morning it was really nice I finished work last night my boss was like you don't have to come into a normal start at 9 he's like oh you don't have to come until 9 30 and I was like oh thanks it's currently 7 30 and you're like okay Emma why did you still get up early if you're starting later well I always get up at 6 a.m that's just like my routine now and I like to move my body as you saw I just like to keep the same routine every morning and then if I have spare time I'll spend it doing something else it's 20 to 9 and I need to put on some lip balm because I will I need to explain as you can see my lips the, the end here but it's all red like around here and my eyes dry and red in over here my psoriasis is coming back so that's really cute I think I said in like my last vlog how I was having trouble with my lips being like incredibly dry they got better because my dermatologist prescribed me something and then I ran out and well I didn't run out but like I had to stop using it because like I'd used it for the amount of time you're allowed to use it for so I had to stop using it and now it's come back so obviously that was only a temporary fix. It's not really sore, it just doesn't look that great. But anyway, the other thing I wanted to talk about, I want to keep you guys kind of in the loop and explain kind of what I've been up to for the past, is it three or four? I don't even know, three or four weeks. Because obviously I haven't been on social media. So basically the main reason is mental health. I've been meaning to take a break from social media probably for like a year. Um, Rachel, my flatmate, would be able to vouch for that. I always say to her, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll take a break this week. And she's like, yeah, do it. And I'm like, no, because like I am a perfectionist and I'm an organizational queen. So when it comes to this sort of stuff, I don't like to miss a week just because. But when I moved back down here to Hamilton, which I'll explain in a second as well, um, when I moved back down here, I was just quite overwhelmed by having to go back to work and having to balance that with university, heading up to the end of the semester, which is where we're at right now, and just the assignments and stuff was so, so busy. Like I genuinely did not have time to upload. And so I missed one upload um, and I put that on my story. I was like, hey guys, like no video this week. Like I haven't had time, haven't had time to film and edit. And then after that, I was kind of like, you know what? Like I am so busy. Like I need to actually look after myself. And so I decided to take a few extra weeks off. And it actually worked out quite well because being like a I don't like the word influencer but being an influencer I do have like brand deals and stuff that I have to keep up with that are like scheduled in and I had none of those planned until like the end of this month like end of October and so it was a good opportunity for me to actually like completely step back and just not be on social media which has been really nice it's been nice just to focus on university and focus on work and just settle back into being back down here in Hamilton um, it's been really hard being away from my family, like really hard, and especially being away from Owen as well. I mean, it's next week, it's gonna be two months since I last saw him, which sucks, but I mean, I'm not gonna get upset about it. I told myself I wouldn't cry in this part of the video, so. <laughs> With me being a little bit absent from my social media platforms, I did get a lot of messages from you guys, which was actually really nice to know that people were looking out for me. Just a lot of messages from people just checking in to make sure I was actually okay, which was really, really nice. So if you will know who you are if you're one of those people that messaged me, so thank you. But yeah, in terms of coming back to Hamilton, I did come back to Hamilton like three or four weeks ago. I honestly don't know now, like every week kind of just feels the same. I returned down here. I didn't, I mean, I didn't really want to come back to Hamilton to be honest, but I, w I work and an essential worker. I never have said where I work and I'm not going to say where I work from my own privacy, but I am an essential worker and I will say it's in the healthcare industry. I wasn't required during level four because there was like no business, like nothing was really happening. So my boss didn't need all of his staff on. Then with the return to level two in Hamilton, he needed me to be able to open up. So I got a one way travel exemption to travel from Auckland to Hamilton to like relocate back to Hamilton to work so I actually can't go back to Auckland until the border is 
like removed. I saw the other day that might not be till end of November. So I'm just chilling in Hamilton at the moment. We are actually back currently as I'm filming this. We're back in level three in Hamilton because there were a couple like couple of cases in, well, in Hamilton and in Raglan. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm up to to explain. I had a lot of people messaging me like concerned that I was like breaking the law. I, don't, I think people might have just missed the message that I was coming down here for work. If I wasn't coming down here for work I wouldn't have come like I'd still be back in Auckland and I would be totally fine with that because I miss my family a lot but I can't see them so we're just gonna move on from that. That's where I'm up to, that's my little update. It's not really anything too exciting, but I'm back. I don't wanna make this a big deal. That's why I've like incorporated it into this video because I don't want this just to be its own video. Like it doesn't need that much attention. Let's continue with the vlog. I have like 45 minutes until, actually is that good math? That ain't good math. I have like an hour until I, no, wait, what time am I saying work? 9.30, no, okay. I have half an hour until I have to go to work. I'm only working till one o'clock today, it's just a half day, and then I'm gonna come home and do some study. I have a Briscoe's click and click order to pick up, but I don't even know, like, can you do that in level three? I'm gonna show you some exciting things around the flat. Let's go. First things first, we got a Christmas tree. We bought this one from Kmart. It's 2.13 meters high. We also got I started going on top and some baubles. As you guys know, when I moved into the flat, I bought a Monstera and it's slowly, I don't think I've really shown it since I bought it, but it's been slowly growing and it grew and it grew and it got really large and then it stopped growing. And so I think it's because the roots were too like condensed in the pot. And so I repotted it. And when I went to go repot it, it was actually two plants that had like grown up from a singular bulb. And so I, anyway, I have two now because I split it. This is the first one in the original pot. Um, as you can see, it's got a pony mix all over it, real cute. But that's the original, like not the original, but the original pot and the smaller half. And then this is the second half, which is obviously the larger half. I need to pull that dead one out that died a while ago, but I just haven't pulled it out yet. And then I bought this pot as well from Mita 10. This also, Danny has been into her origami <laughs> the last few days. So um, we have a number of paper cranes happening here. That's probably also only maybe like half of them. She has like a box in her room filled up with them and she's gonna string them together. I did the same thing when I went to Japan in 2014. Between like the group of like 20 something of us, we made a thousand paper cranes to hang up in Hiroshima. Also OOTD, we have um, the glass and skirt that pretty much everyone owns. And then this cardigan from Princess Polly. And I think I'm just gonna chuck on some white converse with it. And I am home, and I have just informed Danny that I'm vlogging, and she had something to show you. Oh my gosh. This is, like, I, I wasn't kidding when I said she was going for the thousand. Like, I was not, I was It wasn't, wasn't intentional. I just started folding, and now I'm going for the thousand. I think I'm going to make it before my birthday. Your Maybe birthday like, is next Wednesday. Yeah, that's a week. <laughs> but yes, I am home from work, and I'm going to have some lunch. I'm going to make... Please. Some dumplings. Danny's also making dumplings, but I need to. One food in our house. I need to investigate. Can I? Can you eat? Like your little three. Can yes. you? Like, can I actually go to Briscoe's and pick up my order? Yeah, it's contactless food and police. Wait, I actually feel like I've lost like my vlogging ability. Like I'm feeling a little. Bit... I love it. The way you're holding the camera is even different. You're kind of holding it like, like when you pick up a dirty sock. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, like here, this when is. Everything's out, but the pinky. This is how I'm holding it. You can see my pinkies down here. Oh my gosh. Oh no! Ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you gonna vlog? Yeah. Hi. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, let me get the trial. <laughs> She's around. Oh. You're gonna vlog! <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so now you see the resemblance between Danny's sister and Daddy. Yeah? Those are my dumplings and soy sauce. We're in the car. I have really forgotten how to vlog. <laughs> so like we're like, in the car. Like, like. Um, but we are going to go to Briscoe's. Well, I'm going to go to Briscoe's and get, get my click and collect. And Danny is going to go to the supermarket so that we can save some time. Yeah. So I'm going to drop and her off. Because we both can't go in anyway. Yeah, we, so. yeah that's true. Multitasking queens. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I actually forgot how to vlog. Eh? Oh, see, I just can't remember what I used to do. You know what, that'll work. I'm at the base, I just dropped Danny to the supermarket. I need to now go and apparently I need to click a link and then I need to tell them I'm waiting and then they'll put it outside somewhere and then I can go get it. Also, the base is so busy. Like, there's actually people here. I was expecting to be like the only person here. There's so many cars. Oh, okay, I'm number one in the queue. 
I expect to wait time is one minute. It has been more than a minute and I'm just kind of confused. It says, it still says I have to wait, but like, I don't know how I'm supposed to find out when I don't have to wait. Like, does it pop up and say, oh, like, your thing's ready? Okay, it's been like 15 minutes now and the wait time said only one minute and it still hasn't refreshed. So I'm wondering if like, I, mean, I don't know how the, the system works. I assume it sends in like a notification inside and they're like, oh, we'll go get an order and then we'll let her know. But I don't know if they've, like, I'm wondering about this call. Oh, just kidding. I just got a text. Please proceed to the storefront and show your phone to the staff member. I won't take you guys with me because it's probably going to be awkward, but I'll be back in a second. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I didn't take you guys because that was awkward. Um, This guy stopped to let me cross the road and then I waved him across because I didn't want him to stop for me. But then he had to stop because the car was backing out and it was really awkward because I didn't want to walk behind a backing car and then... I got to the door and then someone else was in front of me even though I was supposed to be first in the line but it's fine but then the girl who served me was a subby so that was really cute so hi Danny messaged and she was done so she started walking but now I'm like finished and so now I might just go find her Alright guys we are home and little haul of what I got from Briscoe's we have glasses these are the exact same ones I bought eight of each at the start of the year cool ones look like this and the short ones look like this. They're great, except we've they broken look like this quite frequently. <laughs> How many have we? We've broken five of the tall ones and about five of the small ones. Okay, we say we. I haven't broken any. Okay, of the them. problem is they go in the dishwasher and they tip over. That's the problem. You're so easy to read. You're so. I'm not that dumb. You just you just said what I wanted to say, and now I'm going to say it, but you're going to laugh at me. What? Hey guys, it's a little bit later on. And I'm FaceTiming Owen. Do you want to say hi? Hi. I have parked myself at the dining table. It is 3.30, well nearly 3.30, and I'm going to do a little bit of work. Um, got changed to some sweats as well, featuring the cute crust scene shirt the girls made for my birthday. I've got a few assignments to submit, so I'm going to do that. I have a couple of lectures I have to watch as well, but I just don't know if I have the brain power to do that tonight. <laughs> Hey guys, Morgan's here. Yeah. Taya is home from work. Hello Taya. It's blurry, but there's Taya. And Danny is counting her paper cranes. Have you like updated the vlog on the crane situation? Yeah, I did. Hey Morgan. Hey. You wanna make some dinner? Yeah. Should I do it either? Yeah. It's Morgan's cooking night, but I wanna cook, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna take over the kitchen and we're gonna make salad bowls, but we've decided that we're gonna do like Donberry bowls, so we're gonna cook some rice. But we'll still like optionally eat a salad. Okay. I'd rather have rice with it because then I can tell my mind that it's deconstructed sushi and it makes it somewhat appetizing. Morgan's been had her hair dyed since she was last in the vlog. I'm very, very tempted to like cut my hair like to here and redo my balayage. Vegetables are chopped courtesy of Morgan. The chicken in the oven, that's the chicken and that's the non-chicken. The rice is cooking and oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. My Oh, it's got carrot peels all over it. My sushi rice container broke. I'm actually really upset because those are really expensive. Sitting here and I tipped it and then I hit this corner and then just shh. So, yeah. Dinner time. We have the veggies. We have the chicken cut up courtesy courtesy of Morgax. We have some rice. rice I've got courtesy of seeds in there. And then we've got the bowls. <laughs> when it's dishwashing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the bowls. <laughs> Yum. My yum. Already so yum, we only have two forks left, so I'm using chopsticks. Yum. Guys, Rachel's on FaceTime. Oh. Is that Quokka on the back? Yeah. <laughs> Rachel's back home in Tauranga. She went home for the weekend and now she's stuck. Morgan's just over here. Coffin. We were on FaceTime with Rachel for like over an hour, I'm pretty sure. Oh. But as you can see, it is now dark. I have my skin's looking quite uh glowy if you will because it's covered in moisturizer trying to sort my skin out i have a few pr packages which i was meaning to show you guys that arrived over the last couple of weeks which i haven't had a chance to share which i'm going to do now because it's only two packages because i tried to make sure that nothing arrived but a couple of things did arrive which is cool I'm very grateful but i want to share with you the two things the first is this which i haven't actually opened yet because i want to open it for you guys on camera so I have no idea what it looks like or anything but it's from a year 13 business studies group oh my camera's flashing 
I'm gonna swap the battery. All right, I'm hoping this battery lasts because this is the battery I charged up like three months ago to go to conference and I haven't used it since. Anyway, this is the package and it's from a year 13 business studies group. I, it's from a school in Tauranga. I'm not sure exactly which school, but anyway, apologies for my pronunciation, but I'm pretty sure it's called, you can see it there, Toimatauranga. I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna see. I'm, from what I can understand, it's a coloring in book to do with like, Famous Māori legends. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh, that is so cool. So, it's got the girl's names who designed it. Down the bottom, Paige, shout to Paige, she's the one that sent it to me. OG subscriber, she's the best. Met her once, she's amazing. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, so that's like in Tauranga. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is really cute and you can like colour them in. Anyway. Go and check these guys out. I will link their website down below. And the second package, I've been using this company's products for like over a year now. I actually bought them myself initially and then reached out to them like, hey, I love your products. Do you want to work with me? And they like said yes and they sent me out some products, which I have shared on YouTube before. But they have just sent me some new stuff, which has just come out. So I'll show the old stuff and then I'll show the new stuff. So the company is Olaplex. You guys may or may not have heard about them before. They do hair care products. Sorry, the girls are just watching TV and getting quite into it. But they've sent me the number three, six, and seven. So number three is like a hair mask. I use that like probably once or twice a month when my hair starts to get quite dry. Literally game changing. And then these two are number six and seven. And I actually combine these. This is like a little, like it's kind of like a conditioner type consistency. This is an oil. Combine them together, rub them to my fingers and put it through my hair before I straighten it. It's like a defrizzer and a heat protectant. All with all of their products. They're highly concentrated. So a little bit goes a very long way. And then the new product they've just sent out to me is number eight, which is brand new. Fresh off the press. I'm so excited to try this. And you apply it to like clean, damp hair and use it sparing, like use it more towards like your ends and then you leave it off 10 minutes and then rinse it off in style. So, very keen to try this. It's called the Bond Intense Moisture Mask. So I assume it's like a hair mask type situation, but I'm so, so keen to try it. Oh my gosh, the girls are getting, so, I don't know what they're watching, but they're getting so into it. I'm super keen to try this, so I will actually try it in another video, like another time, to show you guys how it, like, how it goes. But thank you so much to Olaplex for sending that out to me. I'm going to close with this vlog here. It is 9.36 and I need to go to bed. Um, I'm getting up at 6 a.m. again in the morning to do a workout because I've got work again tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am back. I'm excited to be back. I feel like this break has really just helped me get more excited about... YouTube and stuff. Um, I feel like I was getting a little bit burnt out. It was just that I just needed a break. I'm sorry if you can hear that screaming in the background. Taya just gets very emotionally invested in TV programs. Yeah, I just, I feel like that break was overdue and I just feel so much more refreshed and ready to come back and produce some content. I've been brainstorming some ideas over the last few weeks. I want to like put maybe a bit more time to like TikTok and Instagram and stuff as well and just really like, just put a bit more effort in because like it was getting to a point where I was so burnt out, I was getting a little bit like resentful towards it, which is not a good place to be in. I'm excited. So, yes, if you're new here, hello. This is a really probably dysfunctional video for you to have uh, first seen my face, but welcome. I hope you enjoyed. Um, but yeah, apart from that, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. A little, little bit confused. Hiroshima, Hiroshima. Oh, oh, oh. Hashtag basic. <laughs> no, oh. And I don't know what's wrong with me. I look like a little lad today. Oh.